it's Heather here from A Pyro Design, and I'm back at you for day nine of Pick the Pink. Uh, today, we are going to be looking at some Hatchbox, and I think this is our first ABS. Don't quote me on that, but anyways. Uh, so today, we're looking at Hatchbox True Pink ABS. Uh, now, I'm not as savvy with ABS materials as I am with PLA materials, which I think is probably pretty common for most 3D printers out there. But first, let's start with the basics. So Hatchbox ABS can be purchased at Hatchbox.com. Uh, they do have several resellers here in the United States as well as other countries. The most common I've seen probably is Amazon.com. It's one of the easiest places to get Hatchbox uh, filaments in general. Now this roll runs about 23 US dollars, comes in 1.75 and 2.85 millimeters. Uh, and let's look at the color. It's really, really pretty. So first thing I printed was uh, my maker coin. I printed this on our FlashForge Creator Pro. Now ABS does need to be printed hotter. Most of you know that. Uh, but I printed this at 205 degrees. Their recommended print temperature is actually 210. But I printed it at 205 on the FlashForge. And it turned out great. Um, you know, the, the color is very vibrant. Very pink for sure. Uh, and then let's look at some of the other prints that I made. So some of you have seen this. This is a beautiful print that came out for Mother's Day. It's a mother and child, or it probably didn't come out for Mother's Day, but it was really popular around Mother's Day. So it's a, a mother holding up a baby on a little pedestal, and it's really, really pretty. So I printed this uh, twice, actually. So this was the first one that I did uh, with the ABS. I printed this on the Flash Forge as well. Now I printed a second one because I really wanted to do some vapor treating because as some of you may know, you can vapor treat an ABS print to make it shinier, smoother appearance as far as like not seeing the print lines and things like that. Some of the imperfections can go away when you vapor treat something. So let's look at my vapor treated one. It looks sad. It's a little melted. <laughs> so I don't know a whole lot about vapor treating and I probably should be honest and tell you that I didn't really look up a lot about vapor treating. Um, this is very smushy. <laughs> and basically what happened was I put this into a container with a lid and closed it over. Uh, I had poured some acetone in the bottom and set this on top of a ring so that the print itself wasn't straight into the acetone. Uh, but I thought that the vapors would come up. Now, Travis had told me something about putting like paper towels around the edges to allow the vapors to surround the print. But I thought that since it was just inside of a closed container, it would be okay. So I left it for a couple of hours and I came back to a melted print. But I wanted to show this to you, not to show you my epic vapor treatment fail, but I wanted to show you guys how the difference, because you can definitely see the difference between the two prints. The vapor treated print is a ton shinier. It is a definitely smoother. Um, along the mother's back, you can really tell the print lines of the vapor treated model versus the unvapor treated model. So it is kind of a neat feature of ABS to be able to, to have that accessibility. Now I just have to get a little bit better at it. Now I know there's some products out there like acetone pens. Again, I'm not really, really versed on those. So I'm not sure if you just color on the print with the acetone pen or kind of go over the entire print and it smooths it automatically. I've seen some other people that have paint brushed it on. Again, I'm not super familiar with it. So give me some tips down in the comments below of how you vapor treat your prints so I can maybe get something a little bit better than this. Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in for Pick the Pink. Tune in tomorrow to see what pink I pick next. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.